my blue tail kids in here, but you can call me blue. And welcome to all of my pets. Milo, what are you doing? This is my puppy back here. He has distracted me, making this for a great intro. Well, this is a video all about my animals, and he's one of them. <laughs> I really want to educate people on the, these type of animals that I have, on like the proper care and everything that comes with owning a pet, whether it be like a normal pet, like the dog that you might see back here sleeping on the bed, or exotics like a lizard, things like that. Not kind of like the, oh, this is well, how you have to take care of the animal. I'm not going to be that type of person. I'm going to be like, this is what I do, what I recommend, what I suggest. If I had a third hand, it would have come out here, but I don't. So anyway, so that's kind of my goal as a pet YouTuber. But to kind of set me apart a little bit from the pet YouTuber you see, not to say that every pet YouTuber is the same, but to kind of make myself a little bit more different. I'm also a really super crafty person. I love working with my hands and needlework and things like that. So I can show you guys how to do like maybe to learn how to make toys, beds, interactive things. A lot of things that you can see like in the store that you can buy that you can easily make. And I want to show you guys how to do that like this. I made this little toy because plushies are expensive. Obviously this isn't a dog plush toy, but you can still learn how to make things with yarn and things like that that pets can have. Mainly cats. Cats like yarn. So I can show you guys how to make toys as well as beds and blankets. Like here, I make myself a mermaid tail blanket. As you can see, you can see all the individual little scales I worked so hard to make and a fin. You can make blankets for dogs, beds for dogs, cats, anything. I even make hammocks for my animal, for my lizards. I crochet the hammocks and he loves it. So yeah, that's going to be like another side of my channel that I want to do is the crafty side. So again, if you guys have any, any suggestions like you want to see, maybe like learn how to make some kind of cat toys, some kind of beds, hammocks for your lizards, let me know. Leave a comment down below. And if you guys enjoy my content, I would really appreciate if you just subscribe to me because then that shows me that you guys are enjoying my content and my stuttering self. And then I'd be even more encouraged to make more videos, be consistent on schedule and make videos. Things, any. All that fun stuff. I'm really bad at talking. I'm a nervous wreck sometimes. So bear with me, because this happens a lot. I stutter like crazy when I get nervous. Then again, who knows who I'm talking to? Who knows how you guys are going to react? Honestly, I don't care. As long as you guys enjoy my videos, that's all that matters. So enough about me. Probably talk more about me at the end of the video. I'm not self-conscious. I'm not. Anyway, so let's get on to the content that you guys clicked for. All of my animals! Ta da Okay, I guess we can start with the little one that was behind me during my intro. This is Milo taking a nap on my bed. He is my American Staffordshire Terrier puppy. He's about 11 months. I actually, 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 English. Your mom doesn't know English, buddy. Anyway. I actually adopted him. He was a little rescue. He was just a little two month puppy in when the shelter that I volunteer at. I saw him. He was the last one of his litter and I just couldn't say no. Something about him. You know you can get those connections with your animals that you're like, I can't leave this poor animal behind. I had to take him home. And he's been with me ever since. He's going to turn a year next month. I'm so excited for that. He's a big boy. Aren't you Milo? You're so sleepy though. You play a lot today. Alright, so that's Milo. All in his glory on my bed. Chili pup. Over here taking another nap is my Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Bull Massive and Basset Hound Mix. This is Pepper. She is four years old and I've had her since she was a little four month puppy. She is another rescue. I actually got her from a shelter as well. Hello Milo, I already did your video. Leave her be. She is a super sweet girl, a little on the nervous side when she meets new people, but a really special girl. Milo! Yeah, that is my pup. My big old girl. Yeah. And 
over here sleeping on the little bed we have in the living room. This is Jessie. She is my 14 year old miniature schnauzer. She, Milo, you're moving my camera. No. Milo is super, super much of a hog for attention. You're blocking her scene. Milo. Yeah. Shoot, Milo. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Pretty sure if I keep doing videos, you're gonna be trying to be the one that tries to get all the attention because that's who you are. Anyway, back to Jessie. She was actually a gift to us 14 years ago, obviously. Oh, a couple of friends of ours had an accidental litter, and so they gave her to us. She was supposed to be <laughs> my dog, but she ended up loving my mom more than me, which is why I went out and got my own dogs 14 years later. Milo, I swear. <laughs> that's her. I can move on. There she is. Okay, and uh, over here, chilling under his heat lamp, this is Eli. He is my bearded dragon. I believe his morph is a flame bearded dragon. I'm not entirely sure what kind of full on morph he is. He was actually given to me by someone who no longer wanted him. He was an impulse buy for them, he was really malnourished. Now, as you can see, he is a plump boy. Over here he has his salad and his water, his little climbing stuff and everything. I actually have him in a 75 gallon tank, which is a pretty good size for a bearded dragon his size. He was upgraded from a 20 gallon and then to a 40 gallon and now to a 75 gallon. So here we go. So majestic. He doesn't care anything about what I do, what goes on or anything. Okay, and in here we have the newest addition to my collection of animals. This is my crested gecko baby. I'm not entirely sure how old he is. I didn't ask the breeder when I got him. I should have. But I gotta say he's about under six months. Just because of how small he is. Let's see where if I can find him. There he is! Oh, sorry. That's me, Goo. He's chilling out, sleeping. I don't want to disturb him too much just because he is sleeping since crested geckos are nocturnal. I'm gonna try and get some of my arm, beautiful arm. All right, and over here sniffing the camera, I have one of my rats. This is Bellamy, my blonde boy. This is Bartolomeo. You guys are super curious about what this is, aren't you? And down here in his little house, this is Booker. He's my little, my little baby, he's tiny. Pretty sure he was the runt of the litter because these guys are huge. Then again, rats don't ever stop growing. So they're gonna keep getting bigger the longer I have them. I actually got them from someone who I had an accidental litter. Accidents are a lot. Of, you're gonna notice accidents are a ooh, consistency in my channel or just finding them. That's what all these animals are. Either accidents or they were given to us or we found them abandoned. So yeah, these are my rats. They are about a year and a half. They are my sweet boys. They're a little bit under the weather. They all have a little bit of a cold. That's so why he's making a little kind of chirp noise. But I'm giving him medication and they should be fine in a couple days as long as I keep up the medication. Which I will, huh, little one? This here is Panchita. She is a little green budgie. Uh, my dad named her, not me. She was actually found. We used to feed little little finches that happened to come outside. And what are you two doing? Hey, how am I gonna film with you guys being like this? Uh, weird dogs. Anyway, 
So yeah, she was kind of eating with the other finches. We, obviously, she's not wild or native to here. So we fed her, and we were able to catch her. And now she's been with us ever since. She's an old girl, maybe a bit over 10 years now. She just chills in her little mirror there. Need to clean her little stand because she poops there as well. Yeah, that is Panchita. And you guys are still going crazy back here. Oh my goodness. Focus, why wouldn't I focus? Oh well, bye. And over here we have Torta. She is our ring neck dove. I want to say she is about five years old. She's a super chill, sweet girl. She's kind of in this small cage just because we noticed that she doesn't really like the big open cages. She kind of gets overwhelmed, huddles to one corner. So we kind of put her in this smaller cage and she hasn't been happier. We can actually accidentally leave this door open. I think my parents have done it multiple times when they try to feed her for me. And she does not leave. She just stays in there like, why is my door open? I don't like this. So yeah, you get those birds or those animals that don't like the big open enclosures and they kind of prefer the kind of smaller type enclosures. And that's totally fine. Whatever the animal is most comfortable in. You don't want to force them, overwhelm them to anything that they don't want. Huh, Torta? You don't like me. And down here we have our two cockatiels. That is Lou and this is Peggy. They are about, I want to say 13 years old. They're a little bit on the older side. He's hissing at me because he doesn't know where the camera is. They're super sweet when you're not holding camera they don't understand. We have them in a kind of smaller cage just because they are a bit on the older side. Climbing isn't as easy to them as they, it was when they were younger and they had a bigger cage. And that's, okay I'm sorry I touched something he didn't like. They're really freaked out by the camera. I haven't really filmed them before. But yeah, if you get older birds that don't really move around a lot, especially these two, they both have a little bit of arthritis in their feet. You want, you don't want to stress them out too much by having too many things they climb on that they can't climb. So usually we have here, I'm sorry, we have like a little ladder here. I think the, the door fell on me. We have the ladders here for them to climb up and then they're perched up here. I'm sorry you don't like the camera. At least then they're not overwhelmed with too much to climb and they can chill in the little perches that they feel more comfortable in. So yeah, those are our two cockatiels. And this is Vicky, or Virginia, as my mom has named her. My mom likes to name some of the birds, or all the birds really. So they have a little bit more unique names. She is a pigeon, or a rock dove, as some people don't know they are called rock doves. She has made a bit of a mess down there. And the reason she's in this, oh hello Milo, what a surprise. And the reason she's in this type of like guinea pig cage is because she actually can't fly. Her wing is broken, she broke it when she was a little baby. We rescued her from, well we didn't rescue her, she was given to her, would you? <laughs> she was given to us because she was obviously hurt, she was injured, the person who had her couldn't take care of her that way. We've been able to take care of her perfectly fine. She's comfortable here. My dogs are fighting in the background. Ignore that. She's curious about it. So yeah, she's in this cage just because it's easy for her to have like somewhere to like walk. She can hop up to here just fine, but anything bigger, she would just be stuck at the bottom of the cage. So we focus more on ground size for her rather than height size. And she's comfortable. She's totally happy. She gets her food, her water, everything a little pigeon could ever want. You guys, you're not helping. Okay, and out here we have Josephine. She is our chicken. I want to say she is about five years old. I thought she was done laying eggs. She's surprised it's all this morning by laying an egg. So I guess Josephine just does what Josephine wants, which she usually does. Anyway, she's in this enclosure for now just because we had to move her because cats were finding her where her old enclosure used to be. So we just need to get some grass over here for her. So she can be all happy and comfy. She doesn't have any complaints so far. As long as she's outside, she's really happy. Huh. And this is Don, or Donatello. He is our Sulcata tortoise. He is about maybe 7 to 10 years old. I'm not entirely sure. He was given to us when he was a little baby. 
So one of my sister's friends that were moving to Alaska and he couldn't keep him anymore, obviously. He went to the right of Alaska. So he's been here ever since. He has the whole backyard to himself. Whenever he feels like coming out, and it's his tunnel. We don't know where it goes or how deep it is, but he made it. Okay, well these aren't actually moving pets, they are still alive, and I still consider them my pets. They are my three Marimo balls, which are basically Japanese moss balls. They don't do much, they just sit there and look pretty, but I don't care. They are my moss balls. This one back here looks a little funny as Zoro. This one here is Sanji and Luffy. As you guys know, One Piece, and you know why I named it this way. I'm a big anime nerd, so... If you guys love anime, hey, you got something in common. If you don't, I'll try not to geek out too much. It tends to happen. Okay, well, these aren't 100% my kittens. They're my sister kittens, but I do take care of them when she's at work, which is pretty much all day. I feed them, clean their little litter box, make sure they're all well kept for throughout the day until my sister comes home at night. The little boy here is Max, and then this is Oliver. They're super sweet little kittens. They're actually outside. We were they were found under a house. Their mom was taking care of them there, so we ended up taking these two and the other ones. They found their homes as well. And these guys live the life now. I'm just showing them because I will be making a lot of like toys and stuff. They'll be for them. So why not show the kittens that deserve the toys that I'm going to be making? Plus, who doesn't love kittens, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed getting a little look at all of my animals. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Just filming my outro here with the little kittens. They're having their lunch. Looks like they finished. Which a good boy. <laughs> so yeah, look forward to more content in the future. It'll definitely include little cute creatures like this. All my animals. Up. Oh, oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Alright guys, till next time, Kitsune out.